Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Braxton Brewing Company. These guys are in Kentucky. This was sent to me by Matt and Eric. And he, the note he writes, it says that they're out of Covington, Kentucky. So, uh, uh, I just got these this beer mail package from, uh, from Matt and Eric. And when I checked the date on the bottom of this thing on the can, uh, it had... Uh, uh, has canned on May the 10th of 2017. So May, June, July, August. We're just getting into August here. So uh, uh, it's pretty close to three months old in the can. So I figured I better do it pretty quick. And my humble opinion is at the end of its tasty shelf life. Now it's not going to go bad overnight, guys. And it's probably going to be a little maltier right now at uh, almost three months than it probably was the first week or two or three. Uh, that it was in the can. I don't know. I don't think I've had anything from these guys before, but I do appreciate Matt and Eric sending it to me, but I, I felt like the need that I need to jump on it pretty quick, like a chicken on a June bug, and see what we got before it gets to any older. So, uh, American IPA, 6.5% ABV. Uh, 60 IBUs on the can. So it's got the ABV, the IBUs, and the can don't date on it. So those guys at, uh, at Braxton is, uh, are doing the, the three things that we want uh, on, to see on a can or a bottle of beer. Uh, that's the important three things, bits of information that we need. So let's get on with this. Commercial description on this one. I don't have anything on Beer Advocate. Untapped has it at, oh, it's pretty long. Perfection is a combination of hard work and having the guts to change. It's not always perfect the first time around and it takes determination to make every drop count. Revamp is an easy drinking American IPA that brings forward notes of tropical fruit flavors with a bright citrus aroma. The bitterness is more rounded than most due to the primary late hop additions and dry hopping. Go ahead and enjoy your new go-to IPA. So, uh, I think that's it. We don't need to talk about anything else, so let's get this thing out of the can here and get it into the glass. And while I'm doing this, cuisine is curried in a tide, cheese and peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I'll add grilled meat to that also. Backward to pint, becker, nonic, tumbler, mug, sign, side, dell. I'm using my favorite tulip glass today. And not recommended for cellaring. So, drink them fresh, fresh as you can get them, guys. About a finger head on that pour. Very nice amber color. It looks like a filtered beer. I can see the light through it. Let's get a nose to it. A little bit of pine, a little bit of grapefruit, a nice citrusy notes on it. A little bit of crackery malt. But it does have a decent, I mean, it's not an outstanding hot presence, but I can, I, I can still smell it. You know, like I said, guys, uh, first two, three, four weeks in the can, I got a feeling it would have been a little more pungent than where it is now, almost three months old. But it is what it is, so let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Matt. Cheers, Eric. Nice citrusy grapefruit. The malt's starting to creep up on it right now, guys. It's uh, it's uh, 
to the point where it's just going to get more malty and more malty from here. Uh, four months, five months, six months, it's going to get progressively be more malty. So, uh, if uh, you're in the vicinity of uh, Covington, Kentucky, I don't know how far out from the brewery these guys uh, uh, distribute, uh, you need to drink them as fresh as you can, guys. Uh, if you, especially if you want that big up in your face hot profile. If you're not, you're more into a little bit more maltiness, let's let your IPAs or your double IPAs age a little bit. You'll get that maltiness. Trust me, you will. Tastes decent right now. It's not blowing my hair back and my socks off or anything, but it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let's uh, sip on it for a tad, let her taste it, and we'll come back and see where it ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Decent beer, guys. It, it is, uh, but it's not to the A category as far as I'm concerned. So let's do the final chug here. More of an East Coast style at this stage of the game. With the beer almost three months old, that's where I, that's where it, that's what it tastes like to me. A little bit heavier on the maltiness than your typical West Coast style is going to have. Uh, fresh. And like I said, I, I don't know. This beer may be a, uh, a West Coast style when it's first put in the can. But at this stage of the game, uh, the maltiness is starting to come forward. And uh, I'm going to grade it accordingly. Uh, I think it's a B beer and that's where I'm going to put it. 85. That's where, uh, that's where I'm going to drop it in at. And let's run over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 85. We're in agreement there. Very good range, and it is a good beer. I just, I just think it might be a little hoppier when it's fresh in the can. Uh, over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 3.69. So that's in their B category also. Not quite to their uh, B plus. B plus would be like a 3.75, and this is a 3.69. So everybody's in agreement. It's a big beer, guys, and. Uh, and I reserve judgment on that. If everybody is saying the same thing on this, maybe this is where they were heading on this beer. Maybe a more of an East Coast style uh, and not the big up in your face hop, more of a balance between the hop and, 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 the, and the malt. So, uh, but you know, it is what it is. So, uh, and, you, and that may be a style that you really like. Uh, you might not like that big up in your face West Coast style or the New England style juice bombs that are coming out now. Uh, you may like something a little more balanced and you may think, oh my God, this is the best thing I ever had. And I wouldn't argue with that. If that's the style that you like in this type of beer, uh, good. By golly, that's good. You need to drink what you like. Uh, beer tastes are subjective. What I may think is an A, you may think is a C and vice versa. So, uh, but I do appreciate uh, Matt and Eric. Uh, Picking this up and sending it to me, spending their hard-earned money on buying the beer and then shipping it to me. So I do appreciate. Thanks a bunch, guys. I do appreciate it. So uh, that's where I'm putting it. Uh, it was a decent beer, guys. It's, it's definitely uh, not a malt bomb at this stage of the game, uh, but it will turn into that eventually as the months go on. By the time it's six months old, it's going to be substantially more malty than it is right now. So if you've had this one from a uh, Braxton Brewing Company. Uh, let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.